If you are using Ubuntu and not using any GNOME extensions, then you are missing out big time. There are a ton of great GNOME shell extensions that can make your experience so much better. While Ubuntu provides a very good desktop environment by default, these extensions can take it to a whole new level. Now, there are more than a thousand GNOME extensions available. So I went on a journey to pick the best and the most transformative extensions for Ubuntu. It's amazing what some of these extensions can do. After a lot of installations and tryouts, I bring to you the top 10 best GNOME extensions to supercharge your Ubuntu experience. And there are some really powerful ones here. So fasten your seatbelts and let's jump right in. Ubuntu doesn't come with a weather app, but then most people don't really need a weather app. But weather information at a quick glance, everybody needs. Open Weather is a trendy little extension that will give you comprehensive weather information in a quick manner. The temperature, humidity, pressure, wind direction and speed, sunrise and sunset time, everything you could need is nicely presented in this sleek panel here. Then there is the day's forecast that let you know what to expect throughout the day. This really makes it convenient to plan the day around rains. We can also get two days forecast by expanding this section. If you're planning travel or outings, having a quick look here gives you a nice overview of the weather forecast. Open weather extension is also highly customizable with extensive options. You can set the weather information, refresh delay, temperature and other units like degree Celsius and Fahrenheit and so many more things. You can also configure the layout. Firstly, we can set where on the top panel we'd like to see the extension, middle, left or right. Then there are many more in-depth customization options here. You can tweak everything here to be just the way you want. Open weather extension is definitely better than any weather app you could have. 5 stars throughout. You can install it directly from the extensions app by searching for open weather. Ubuntu gives us a very aesthetically remixed desktop. It looks very premium. But one tweak that makes it all significantly better is blur my shell. It adds a dynamically blurred background to the shell instead of this dark grey and voila. You get a shell that's more colourful and appealing. It also adds a nice transparency and blur dynamics that make any wallpaper you use fit in nicely here. The app read and the search too look so much better. The app read especially looks gorgeous. Blur My Shell also gives us a ton of customization options. You can tweak the universal blur settings in the general tab and also personalize the effects according to your preferences or to better suit with the wallpaper. You can also go ahead and tweak the top panel, the side dash, the lock screen and even application blur from here. All of these can be individually tweaked and there are some really useful controls here like turning off the top panel blur when a window is near or in full screen. Amazing option, I just love this. Blur My Shell is one of those extensions that will up your desktop glamour by miles. Caffeine is just a little icon on your top bar, but this little icon is quite a useful thing. It enables or disables automatic suspend, screen lock or screen savers with a single click. On my desktop, I want my computer to automatically suspend after I leave it idle as keeping it running will consume a lot of power, maybe after 10-15 minutes. The same for my laptop, I want it to lock itself if I haven't touched it in a while, for security reasons. But there are certain times when I don't want my computer to suspend even after the timeout, when I'm downloading large files, when I'm compiling something or I just want the screen to be on. Click on this icon and it switches the automatic suspend and screen lock. Want to revert back? Click on it again. It also changes the icon to let you know the status at a glance. Caffeine is a simple tool that'll make your life much easier. Vitals is an extension that gives you, well, vital information about your system at a glance. You can see the temperature, CPU usage, memory usage and a lot more information about the functioning of your computer all displayed briefly on the top bar. This extension is very useful for keeping an eye out on your system's health. Vitals is very powerful extension with in-depth data. Getting into it, you get access to an array of temperature monitors scattered across your computer. This itself is very useful. Detailed info about your memory usage, CPU usage and internet speeds are all shown here. Additional information like voltage and fan speeds are also available. Vitals is also highly configurable. You can tweak it extensively to provide any information you want in the way you want. It's so flexible. Most of my viewers happen to be more interested as well as aware of the status of their computers than the average computer user. So Vitals is a great tool for you to keep an eye on your computer. It's quick, precise and flexible. Definitely a must-have extension. Copy-paste is a function that everybody uses. You can be a coder, writer, student, you will use copy-paste. Clipboard indicator takes it to the next level. 
Clipboard indicator saves everything you copy to your clipboard which can be accessed by clicking on this tray icon and selecting the entry you want. With clipboard indicator, instead of copying, changing application, pasting and then coming back to the website, you can just go on copying stuff and then paste it all at once. Trust me, it's much more relaxing. With clipboard indicator, you don't lose information by mistake when you copy something over already copied stuff. This one thing in particular makes clipboard indicator worth it. By default, clipboard indicator saves 15 entries of your clipboard history, but you can go ahead and tweak that up. If you need to copy paste stuff on a daily basis, clipboard indicator is something that will make your life easier. I'm huge on time tracking and optimization. I mean time is the most valuable asset we have and we have to be mindful about how we spend it. And Time++ is a great, great time tracking utility for GNOME. Time++ comes with a timer, a stopwatch, a Pomodoro timer and a to-do app all built into it. While we can definitely use it to remind us to turn off the gas in 5 minutes or see how long your projects take to compile or how long you can hold your breath, Time++ is definitely more useful. Time++ timer is just a great way to set sprint times to get some work done. The remaining time visible on the top bar gives you a sense of urgency and keeps you focused on work and helps you avoid distraction. Pomodoro timer is an amazing feature that we get here. Pomodoro is a technique that has skyrocketed productivity for millions of people. The idea here is, you set a countdown timer for 25 minutes and work just for that time. After 15 minutes of working, you just have to work for another 10 minutes. This mindset keeps you going and it also makes it incredibly easy to beat procrastination and start working. Hey, you just have to work for 25 minutes. These 25 minute time sets can be grouped into sessions of 4 with 5 minute breaks between each. Pomodoro technique has worked wonders for many people including me, so definitely give it a try. We also get a nice to-do list here. You can add in all your tasks here and track them. This makes Time++ an all-in-one productivity powerhouse. Alright, you're gonna love this one. GS Connect is a phenomenal GNOME extension that lets you pair your Android phone wirelessly to your computer and share files, receive notifications, remote control your computer from your phone and do so much more. You need to install GS Connect on your computer and get the KD Connect app for your Android device from the Play Store. Connect both the devices to the same Wi-Fi and then you can go ahead and pair the devices. Once paired, you'll be able to quickly send and receive files, use your phone screen as keyboard and mouse for your computer and get multimedia controls on your phone. You can adjust the volume and play and pause the media playing on your computer directly from your phone. I absolutely adore this feature, it's so convenient. With GS Connect, you can also send and receive SMS from your computer. You'll receive your smartphone notifications on your computer and you can respond to messages directly. Copied information from clipboard can also be easily exchanged between devices here. The status of your smartphone is displayed in your computer system status menu. Here you get convenient info about your phone battery and network status. GS Connect strongly emphasizes security by encrypting all the communication. It also lets you provide granular permissions for only the features you use. If you use GS Connect only for file sharing and don't use SMS, it will not even request SMS permissions. Overall, GS Connect is just amazing. In fact, I strongly feel that this feature should be included by default on all distributions. KD Plasma based distros provided out of the box and GNOME should too. Definitely check this one out. Love Ubuntu, but the Unity Reminiscent GNOME desktop not so much? Try Dash to Panel. Dash to Panel is a cool extension that completely transforms the Ubuntu desktop and gives you a classy KD Plasma or Windows 7 style desktop with a sleek bottom panel. You can open favorite applications, switch between running apps and this extension even unifies the system status menu and the notifications to the same panel, the way God intended us to use computers. There, I said it. I always use GNOME in its intended form but bottom panel based computer workflow always feels more natural. Dash to panel provides just that. It's a great extension for people who want to use Ubuntu but don't enjoy the default user interface here. Dash to panel provides extensive customization options. You can tweak each and every aspect of anything you want. You can adjust the position, sizes and even how something looks here. The default setup is great but if you want to customize anything, you know the options are there. Definitely give this one a try if you want to completely refresh your Ubuntu desktop into something new. Application menu is a fast and convenient way to access your applications. This extension adds a menu to the top panel of your screen which provides quick access to all of your applications. The menu is divided into categories so you can easily find what you are looking for. 
The application menu extension is a great way to speed up your workflow and get more out of your GNOME desktop experience because it's very responsive and lets you quickly launch your applications without having to open the GNOME app grid. This lets you work without having to break your workflow every time you need to launch an app. And if you like what Dash to Panel does to your desktop, you might want to top it off with application menu. I love Hot Corners. It's a very powerful concept and it significantly improves your computing experience. For the uninitiated, basically you press your cursor to a corner and it does things like spread all the running windows or call up the app grid and stuff. In GNOME Desktop, we already use this. Custom Hot Corners Extended is a super powerful extension that ramps it all up by unlocking full control. This extension allows you to create custom actions for all four corners of your screen. By customizing the actions associated with each corner, you can make your workflow more efficient and streamlined. And it has so many actions to choose from. From opening the app grid to logging out. From hiding all screen content to toggling nightlight. There are a lot of options here. You can create up to 7 actions for a single corner which can be triggered with key combinations like control or mouse clicks. Which means you can create up to 28 custom actions. You can set Spotify or Firefox media controls which will let you quickly change music tracks with a swipe of your mouse. You can do volume up and down. If you regularly work with two or more apps, you can use these hot corners to quickly switch between your apps. Then there's the amazing picture in picture feature that this extension brings which will let you quickly minimize apps into these live tiles and bring them up as you need them. It's kinda like Apple's new stage manager but needs work. Really, with custom hot corners extended, you can own your computer. These actions will take your productivity to a whole new level. You might need to spend some time to optimally set it up for you, but once you create your system, you'll be blazing. There you have it guys, 10 GNOME extensions for Ubuntu that will transform how you use your computer. GNOME extensions are amazing in a way that they are not full-fledged apps, but they do bring in amazing features. And at times, it's not applications that you need. For example, the weather. Will you be realistically opening the weather app every day and checking if it will be sunny or cloudy? Of course not. But this little weather icon with very brief information, you will acknowledge it and even appreciate it. So it's amazing that GNOME Desktop facilitates these extensions. So definitely check them out. If you don't use extensions, you're missing out on an entire facet of GNOME. On the other hand, with extensions, you'll be having a richer Linux experience. So if any of these extensions really intrigue you, do check them out and do let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Also check out the 15 must-have Flatpak apps that you should be using in 2022. We'll talk about some amazing applications there. Well, that's it for today guys. If you enjoyed this video, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. This is Linux Techs. See you in the next one.